Here with senior right-handed pitcher Dawson Flowers. Senior day this weekend, big weekend series with New Orleans. And Dawson, for you guys, start with you, three years here, your last couple of appearances coming up on the Brown Stroud Field Mound. What had the last three years uh, been like for you? Uh, they've been awesome. They've meant the world to me, getting to come here and grow into the person I am and getting to meet all these people and grow alongside them. The relationships and the bonds has been the biggest thing getting to know these guys in the locker room, getting to know this coaching staff. I feel like the biggest thing is as a whole, it's about seeing each other get better. And I feel like it's more of a family environment than just about anywhere that I've heard of or been. You talk about getting better, you know, getting closer together. You guys are starting to feel like maybe you're trending in the right direction on the field. Oh, absolutely. We're get, like, we are kind of starting to click a little better in all phases of the game. We're starting to know each other a little better in all phases of the game. And so it's been cool to see some guys experience some new successes or see some guys that we kind of expected to be successful have that. And getting to just see everybody cheer and root for each other and want the best, truly want the best for each other, which I feel like helps as a team and helps benefit us as a whole. For you, you took on a new role this year after the first weekend, moved into the starting rotation. What did that, what did that do for your senior year, pitching in a new role and, and kind of being that guy that, that Coach Burtis talked about, you know, whatever role you need, whatever role the team needs, you filled. But been a little different senior year than you expected? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I wasn't coming into the year expecting that. Obviously, I wanted to do whatever if I could to help the team be successful, whatever role that was. And this is just kind of how it's shaken out. Um, it's been nice to have that opportunity and to be able to, know that my teammates trust me and know that the coaching staff trusts me and give me that opportunity. You guys have kind of everything in front of you right now. Last conference series, you'll be the first team in Southland play to finish. So you kind of control exactly what you can control this weekend. And uh, that's got to be a good feeling. And, you know, knowing what you can sew up this weekend instead of, you know, having to wait till next weekend until everything else shakes out. Absolutely. It'll be good to be able to just focus on what we have ahead of us, being able to focus one game at a time, one pitch at a time. We don't have to really focus on what other people in the league are doing. If we go out and take care of business on Friday and take care of business on Saturday and then do it again on Sunday and just show up and give everything we have and compete as hard as we can, it puts us in a really good position and it allows us to truly have that one pitch at a time mentality and not really worry about any external factors. We can just focus on what we need to be focused on. Three years, a degree, a fiance. You picked up a little bit of everything here in Natchitoches. What's, what do you take with you on the way out the door whenever the season does come to an end? Um, it's the memories, the relationships, um, on the field, off the field, like everything. I've met some of my lifelong friends. Obviously, I've met my fiance here. Um, it, this place means the world to me. These people mean the world to me. I'm thankful to have been here, to have gotten to experience that. But the job's not finished right now, so we're going to do everything we can to keep it going for as long as we can. And then after the season, get focused on helping uh, Dan and helping Coach Burt and helping the staff uh, to continue to get better in the future. Dawson, thanks for your time. Yes, sir.